Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to make a pork trotter. And there are actually three parts of a pork leg. Uh, so you just imagine this is a, a pork leg. Lah. This is the first part, which is the bottom. And then we have the second part. This is actually the upper part, the third part, which is a, a lot a lot more meat, a lot more meaty, or sometimes we call it yun tai, yeah, yuan ti. So it's the, the biggest part uh, on the top. So this is, pro uh, I actually asked, requested the butcher to cut it for me. So this is approximately, I would say about two thirds of it. Two thirds of it, yeah. So approximately about one kg. Very nice. And I want to make the whole, uh, the whole piece together instead of the normal smaller pieces so that it looks more um, satisfying <laughs> okay then let's take a look at the other ingredient to make the braise you of course you need a one tablespoon of chopped shattered ginger um, uh, fresh coriander roots garlic and if you have galangal also put it in uh, we have some uh, cinnamon stick star anise bay leaf and this is 13 spice powder, Si San Xiang, or if you don't have 13 spice, you can use 5 spice, which is uh, the Wu Xiang normal 5 spice powder. This is the 13 spice, about 1 teaspoon to 1 tablespoon, up to you. And then we will, we will be using uh, chicken stock to cook this, and of course, Appa will be using my uh, cooking Appa 100% uh, natural premium chicken powder, which is, which is going to help you to make a chicken stock within 2 seconds. Uh, this is zero preservative, zero MSG, 100% natural. You can get it from Shopee online from Malaysia and Singapore. Very easy, yeah? So, uh, we can create the chicken store in two minutes. Sorry, two seconds. Let's open up. Prepare one bowl of hot water. Put in about one to two teaspoon. Done. You have your aromatic chicken stock ready. And you will need some brown sugar or today I'm going to use some, uh, this is uh, palm sugar. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Now every time before you want to cook your pork leg or uh, pork meat, that in, especially that includes uh, bone, you have to blanch it. So I will show you very quickly how to you blanch it and never skip that step because you need to blanch your pork in order to remove the gaminess and very, very important. Do not skip. Right, so blanching process is not difficult. You just uh, prepare a pot of water, uh, put in the pork, and then also some few slices of ginger and a bit of rice wine. Bring everything to boil and let it boil for two, three minutes. You're going to get something like this, and you will see all the scums releasing out. So this is actually, all scums releasing, this is actually to remove the gaminess of your pork and after it is boiling for after about two three two three minutes your blanching process is done uh, now what we need to do is just to take out the pork and go and wash it that's all so first of all we are going to saute the ingredient uh, the fresh ingredient here put in some oil the i'm going to use pressure cooker and the pressure cooker i'm using here actually has an open lid cooking function I can actually saute straight away here. If, if your pressure cooker doesn't have this, you can use a wok to uh, saute this, yeah? Saute this for a minute or two before we continue. One tip of uh, using pressure cooker is that if your pressure cooker also have an open lid function, uh, use it because later after sauteing, your pot will already be heated up then uh, it will take lesser time for you to build up the uh, pressure later. So always use your open lid function. So this is after about a minute or two sorting. It is now super, super fragrant. This is the time where we can actually add in the chicken stock. We will add in more uh, if necessary. We just need it to be enough to cover your pork. Yeah? And of course, the cinnamon stick star anise and also bay leaf. This is the 13 spice powder. I'm going to give it a few dashes of white pepper. Let me clear the kitchen top at the same time. 
and we also want to give it some uh, coconut palm sugar you can use palm uh, normal brown sugar as well about approximately two tablespoon and we will give it two tablespoon of uh, light soya sauce to start with now the thing about making braise is that you always want to put your light soya sauce and also dark soya sauce but how much to put um, if you now the tip is this if you put not enough it's still going to turn out fine if you put too much then uh, it will be bitter especially when you for the dark soya sauce so this is dark soya sauce I'm going to put in approximately about maybe approximately two tablespoon so it's okay to put lesser but it's not okay to put too much that's the tips for making braise and we are going to put one small, small bowl of Saoxing wine now it is already super fragrant so basically our braised broth is ready then you take your blanched meat to put inside I will put the meat, uh, the skin facing downwards yeah? as you can see the meat is not fully submerged so I will be adding a bit more chicken stock uh, to make sure the meat is fully submerged so I just added more broth just now and not forgetting we are going to give it some salt all the ingredients I will put inside the video description right so you can see now it's now boiling so you want to close it make sure it's sealed and we are going to change this setting to so we are now going to change the setting to uh, let me cancel the open lid function and I will use tendon or steel originally it's 35 minutes I'm going to double it I'm sorry not enough cancel too fast it started too fast I'm going to can put it one hour instead of 35 minutes because this is a one whole piece this is one whole piece of the almost the whole piece of the leg so you need more time to really make it very very tender if you are using a normal pot then you want to uh, uh, use low medium heat to simmer for I would say at least two to three hours right all right it is done all the pressure has been released oh, super fragrant can you see this look at how tender it is Ooh. so is it lump enough look at this point 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 let me see if i can take this out Look at the bones. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Whoa, this is so nice. This is so nice. Mm, mm. Still hot, huh? Wow. Wow. I can take out the bones so easily. Wow, so hot. <sighs> Can I take out the big bone as well? Look at this! <laughs> the big bone is taken out so easily. See? Oh! <laughs> it came out by itself. And wow, it's very hot. It's very hot. I'm not going to cut the whole piece yet. Just let me probably. Wow! <laughs> So lump, so so lump. Wow, hot, hot, hot. Wow, look at this, so nice. Uh, so this one. Wow, without any effort, my knife can cut it through. Yes, this is the kind of tenderness I wanted. I want it to be really, really lump, really, really soft and tender. Yes. And I want the, the skin to be very lump as well. Ooh, very hot. <laughs> wow. 
spicy. The skin also very tender, very lump. And later I'm going to put this on a plate and I give it some nice broth. Yes, finally I managed to get this kind of, of uh, tenderness. I've never ever been able to reach this kind of tenderness before. I have uh, further adjust, I use salt and sugar to adjust to taste here yeah, the, for the braised broth. And I also added a bit of fish sauce. Oh, actually this one looks quite like, uh, my wife said it looks like a Thai pork leg. <laughs> Seriously, this kind of tenderness is what I always wanted to make, but uh, this is the first time I really managed to make it. So if you're using a normal pot at least three hours, if you're using a pressure cooker at least one hour. All right, so I hope you like my uh, pork trotter today, uh, braised pork leg today. If you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye bye.